thanks to a pair of new videos and a tweet straight from Nintendo. We now know when the final two characters in the Smash Brothers roster will be introduced to the game. Get ready to battle as Bayonetta and Korn later this week. Back in early December, Nintendo held a special direct dedicated exclusively to Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U and 3DS. They promised they'd outline all future plans for the game, save a small detail or two. While the direct introduced us to the final Smash characters Bayonetta from Bayonetta and Korin from the upcoming Fire Emblem dates we only had a vague February 2016 launch window for the newest additions to the game. This past weekend, a pair of videos popped up on a European Nintendo YouTube account showing off both Bayonetta and Corin in action, as well as the new stage based on Bayonetta, Umbra Clock Tower. The trailers end with a February 4th release date though, again, this was only confirmed for the European territory. Nintendo of America didn't leave us hanging much longer, though, as the following tweet went on to confirm that both Bayonetta and Corin will be joining Smash in our region this week. Two, arriving a day earlier on February 3. Bayonetta and Corin will also be joined by the final batch of me by costumes, including an adorable Chocobo hat, a bunch of characters from Sonic, and more. As for those trailers, let's check out Bayonetta and Corin in action first. Both characters move super fast and have what appears to be a fun bag of tricks at their disposal. Corin's outfit and weapon appears to morph on the flight making them a very versatile character when going one-on-one. -on -one. It'll be interesting to see how Corin handles a crowd. Bayonetta, on the other hand, is more of a close-range fighter, with plenty of combos that make it dangerous to get too close to her. She's not completely lacking at range, though, with several of her summons packing the punch at mid-range. She's also got that spiffy time-slowing field that can be used to trap an opponent and make them an easy target for pummeling. Speaking of the Bayonetta series, that's exactly where the latest and final Smash map hails from. To dot basically, you're all fighting on the face of a giant clock tower that has broken free and is falling down what appears to be an impossibly tall mountain. I'm thinking all of the interactivity has been turned off for the above video, because I could have sworn that additional platforms and interference from those creatures in the background came into play when the stage was originally shown off. Otherwise, we're looking at a bit of style over substance here with plenty of neat stuff happening around a very small platform. So get ready for Wednesday, Smash fans, because the fight is about to become fiercer than ever.